So this issue of defecting from political parties, this also is as old as our, as our, uh, our history, honorable members. In fact, the first thing that happened uh, after independence on the anniversary of, of, of uh, independence and on the birth of the republic is that people crossed floors. Kadu, Kadu crossed the floor. Kadu was the opposition. It crossed the floor. I think the last man who was left screaming and kicking was Joseph Martin Shikuku. And I remember the, at that time, from the reading I have done, there wasn't a lot of noise about the democratic character of crossing the floor. But in 66, when, K, uh, when KPU uh, uh, was formed and KPU crossed the floor, the very erudite uh, Joseph Thomas Moyer was very, very, very critical. I was saying to cross the floor is to lose the mandate of the party that elected you. Now, and I have a, I, I have a sympathy. Yes, please. I have sympathy for that. I think that uh, we should have in law mechanisms of containing uh, persons to the parties uh, 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 in, uh, to the parties on whose platform they were elected. So that's my opinion on that. Now, let, what is the last issue? Not clear, sorry. Yeah. Just uh, make it clear. What is your position on that? My position is uh, that uh, if I presented myself to the people of Kamukonji as a member of the Kenya African National Union, and I was elected as such, I should be obligated, if I am to continue for the five years, to retain fidelity to that party, the party on whose platform I was elected. If I crossed the floor and became, uh, in fact, and voted with and became associated with the Kenya African Democratic Union, then I should vacate my seat and a by-election should be held. That's my opinion. It is not a popular opinion, I know, among uh, politicians. However, uh, you told me to come and talk about my opinion. <laughs>